After releasing no music for the last year, Takashi69 releases his new song, Gen A. 6 ix new song, Gen A, featured a sneak diss towards Lil Durk, which surprised the entire rap world. In the lyrics, it goes as followed. Your man got hit, you made a diss track. Go get a strap and get some get back. Your man got hit, he's not coming back. Go get a strap and get some get back. You a B, I knew you wouldn't ride for your homie. I know you wouldn't ride for your dolly. So with 6 9 saying these lyrics, a photo then flashed on the screen, saying slide for Vaughn in the music video. Now these lyrics are directed towards Lil Durk. Now after King Vaughn sadly passed by NBA Youngboy's crew member Quando Rondo and Lil Tim, instead of sliding for revenge against them, Lil Durk instead released his new song, Aha. As Lil Durk admitted this was a diss song towards NBA Youngboy, not only in his lyrics, but also on the Nelk Boys podcast. On the show, Lil Durk was asked about the current beef with NBA Youngboy. He didn't mention Youngboy's name specifically. Instead, we saw Lil Durk refer to NBA Youngboy as a quote, troll, instead. Not wanting to give him publicity while on the podcast. While on the show, one of the cast members asked Lil Durk, this question, when was the last time you responded to a troll? Where Lil Durk replies, I dropped a song called Aha, that's when I responded to it. Now Takashi69 has been obsessed with dissing Lil Durk since the passing of King Von. After King Von's passing, we saw 6 9 post a selfie wearing King Von's face on a t-shirt which is usually supposed to be a supportive way to show love for someone that passed, Takashi69 had other ideas. With posting this photo, he added a caption saying, he really thought y'all loved him, he believed y'all. If he ain't slide for his brother who got hit in his head, then you thought different. Adding several laughing emojis to the caption. Lil Durk isn't the only rapper that 6 9 dissed in his new song Gen A either. When 6 9 started his promotional run on his Instagram, on March 8th, Takashi 6 9 posted to his Instagram this. When I left and took a break, I didn't say a word to no one. I didn't need to explain nothing. I just did it. I woke up and now I want to take over again. Now get out of my way, the king of New York is back. Now following that Instagram story, 6 9 posted a snippet of his new song Gen A, adding a caption to it saying, I hope everyone enjoyed their 15 minutes. The boy is back April 15th. I'm the beast they couldn't contain. The industry's most hated animal. April 15th, the king of New York is coming back. I'm coming home, don't get caught on replay. So with the snippet that 6 9 posted, it got many reactions from rappers, but also street members that 6 9 snitched on over two years ago. A day after he posted his snippet, the spot where he was recording was vandalized. As reported by DJ Academics, this was posted. They vandalized the place that 6 9 recorded recorded a video at. They wrote rat all over it. 6 9 commented on this post saying, what did the building do to them? Sliding with graffiti cans. Okay, I got it. All of this got the attention of Fabio Foreign. With Fabio being one of the largest rappers in New York City right now, he posted his reaction on Twitter, saying, Five billboards in Times Square, top five song in New York on Apple, at once, and articles in both Daily News and New York Times. Don't ever let that man say he's the king of this city. This is when we saw 6 9 reply to Fabio Foreign saying, Didn't his best friend get hit in the head a month ago? And he's worried about billboards in Times Square? Now it didn't end here with Fabio Foreign, as the first week numbers for his album Bible was released. Being on pace to sell 29k units first week, 6 9 replied to this saying, This is y'all's king? Not blackballed? all of those features, and the whole industry promoted that. And now you have Kanye and Nicki's sidekick, even they tried to help you promote it. With Gen A being released for only 4 hours, 6 9 screenshotted his numbers and posted it alongside the 3 other New York rappers. With what looks like to be a supportive picture, it actually has a lot more meaning to it than you think. 6 9 writes, Shout out to everyone doing they thing, King of New York is back. Showing that in 4 hours, 6 9 got more views than all of the New York City rappers did on their latest music released in the last week. 
Now, many rappers thought that 6 9 disappeared because he was not with a record label anymore. But it turns out, he just created his own label titled Jinne. And many rappers had their own thoughts and feelings about that as well. Many people believe that 6 9 created this record label and new song due to the fact that he is being sued for $11 million due to a 2018 robbery he was involved in. Also, not to mention that a lot of these rappers believed that 6 9 wouldn't be creating any more beef within the industry. This is because of the video that was posted while 6 9 disappeared from the industry. Here's the video here. Now in this video, this is allegedly members of OTF running up on 6 9 while he was sitting in his parked car. This was during his little break for the last year, and many people believe it was because Lil Durk ended up telling OTF members and Oblock members to go run up on him. Now after this video went viral online, a very concerning photo of 6 9 was then brought up. In this photo, you see 6 9 getting a cast put onto his arm. There was a second photo with it, but I'm not allowed to share due to 6 9 having many bruises on his face. Ever since this video was released over a year ago now, 6 9 completely disappeared. He quit starting online beefs with other rappers, and he just stayed to himself. And while theories claim that it was OTF, other theories claim that this was people that were in 9 Trey, the street team that 6 9 snitched in court getting revenge on the rapper who did their crew wrong. Now it's hard to say whether or not this was a retaliation from Dirk or 9 Trey, but 6 9 stated he only snitched because of what those men did to him behind the scenes. With robbing his money, jewelry, and even doing things with his baby mama, this is when we saw 6 9 hop on Instagram Live once he was released from prison, saying, I'm sorry to my fans, to my family, to my mother. My family doesn't deserve that, and I'm sorry. But y'all are not gonna break me down as if I did something wrong. Listen, I snitched, I ratted, but who was I supposed to be loyal to? If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world, and you're messing with my baby mom while I'm on tour making us money, then how could I have trusted you while inside of prison? Which honestly does make sense as to why he snitched, but it doesn't make sense as to why he disappeared for the last year, even though he claims that it was nothing to do with anything. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm out. Peace.